to my YouTube channel Dreams Unlimited. I, along with my cup of warm water, welcome you to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because this channel is all about spreading good vibes and knowledge. So today I have a very special guest on my channel for two reasons. First, the person is the first guest on my channel. Yay! <laughs> and second thing. That person has actually won the Government of Ireland Scholarship. Oh yes, the scholarship which you all are dreaming of. That is the most prestigious scholarship ever given in Ireland due to a lot of reasons. That scholarship not only waives your college fee but also gives you 10,000 euros stipend as a cost of living. Isn't it thrilling? So in this podcast, you will learn how to write the successful scholarship letter from the scholar himself. So without further ado, let's welcome Rohit, the Government of Ireland Scholar of 2019. Hi Rohit. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dreams Unlimited, and I'm so happy that you actually agreed to uh, come to my channel. So, uh, for digging Rohit's brain, I just want to tell my audience that how did I meet Rohit? So, very interesting hai that I was after Christmas at Penny's mein shopping kar rahi thi, aur, uh, mujhe waha Rohit and I got Rohit. I didn't get any garment ka size, nahi mil tha, so I went to Rohit. So, generally, what happens is people are not that much you know, responsive. Wo, uh, the size is not available or whatever there is there is in the aisles we can't help you much so uh, but Rohit was different he actually went one step further and that's how I felt like okay I need to talk to this guy <laughs> he has a story and yeah I know and it's not been even a month since uh, we have met but yeah and he agreed that's a very uh, you know thank you Rohit so much so no yeah Rohit now it's uh, that you know uh, tell me a little bit about yourself like you know your background and uh, yeah your education and working in India stuff like that thanks Nithi. um thanks for having me on your show so uh, basically I'm from Bangalore so uh, I have done my engineering uh, from Bharti with the Pete Pony and right after that, I joined ICSA Home Finance Company um, there in Bangalore itself, where I worked for around two years. And then I switched to another US mortgage company called Altisource. So there I worked as a business analyst for five years before coming here. So, uh, you know, um, right from the beginning, uh, my profile or my domain my expertise has been into analytics. So I always wanted to, you know, expand my horizon further. And that is where, you know, I kept on researching on how do I, you know, uh, try to pursue my master's from uh, a foreign university. And basically, um, Dublin or Ireland, it was my brother's suggestion, you know, who was in the same field um, uh, for quite some time now. And he's the one who actually asked me to, you know, do my own, uh, to perform my research in the field of uh, data science, if something is there in the island, because based on um, his interaction with his colleague, uh, who have already been to uh, Europe, uh, including uh, Ireland, they said that, you know, there's one of the places where uh, IT sector is at boom. And, um, you know, it's quite worth exploring the industry in this particular uh, area. And the most, um, I mean, uh, when you try to do anything from Europe and uh, the biggest advantage that you have studying in Ireland is uh, uh, is the language. So that is where I started looking into how I can, you know, what kind of university or how I can, you know, get myself enrolled into some sort of uh, master's program in data science. and. Um, then, you know, while doing that, I came across uh, this scholarship that is called Government of Ireland International Education Scholarship. And uh, that is awarded by Higher Education Authority of uh, Government of Ireland and given to 60 students across the globe. And that is purely based on your uh, academic, professional and your social connect profile. So they have, you know, uh, set uh, guidelines 
or the parameters uh, at which they gauge your entire profile and then you know they set out um a few independent referees as well um you know, who judges or who you know give you score and um, the scholarship you know gives you an advantage to pursue your program or the if you are into say a phd or even the undergrad level um your first year course fee is entirely waived off and then on top of it you also get 10000 euro to take care of your living expenses so uh, for me since the master program was of only one year it was a you know a very big thing for me so <laughs> that is yeah. how i started my journey uh, from india or the bangalore to dublin <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's quite an interesting journey and first of all you are the only person whom i have met and uh, who has won this scholarship and you when we met you told me that only one asian or one indian girl has received this scholarship apart from you that's it's a big big achievement i mean um, after coming here we had a small uh, gathering rather because after that certainly i mean uh, normally what happens is uh, usually they call you for felicitation into all the six mm-hmm. students where you get a chance to meet each and ev- each and everyone but unfortunately the, um, you know last year it, it could not happen so uh, uh, we had a small group whatsapp group through which uh, you know uh, we spoke to uh some of our um you know uh scholarship mates <laughs> so <laughs> we met uh, so it was like uh, it was quite fascinating because even um, uh even people from usa they had come down on a scholarship so i did not you know initially aware that uh, since they really have a very good education system and premier institute right yes. but it was really good to know them and see like you know uh their motivation or their aspiration of why they came down and how they are trying to pursue their education here through their scholarship yeah 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 true absolutely yeah the global exposure yeah that's so nice so uh, how did you uh, come to know about this scholarship so uh this i mean i would say i mean uh, even i didn't know about it but as i said like you know um uh, in india still there is no masters program in data science so what i was planning is you know uh, just to find out a program that can be uh, on campus and i should be able to get the masters degree you know so uh, you know when i was researching on that i came across uh, uh, one particular program that is being offered in india but being run by um three pm premier institute like i am Cal- uh, i am calcutta iit kharagpur and isi uh, kolkata but what was happening is you know that program was supposed to happen in i guess in september mm-hmm. so um while researching on the ireland part um you know uh, since this is one of the area where most of the friends look into um a scholarship right so mm-hmm. i don't remember exactly which uh, university it was but when i went to the scholarship field there was a link and when i kept on clicking on the links i came across this entire uh, information bulletin that was uh, uh, published by government of ireland and that is how you know i started looking into it what can i do how to uh, you know uh, answer all those fields and what kind of preparation i have to do uh to make sure you know uh, i fit into their requirements so that is how it happened like you know <laughs> no proper guidance i didn't know exactly but it just like yeah and you didn't take any help for writing this scholarship letter as well or you took the help of some consultant to write it not at all so what i did was uh certainly i mean that was the hardest of part course. but what i did was uh, i um I mean I took help from uh, my brother and uh, one of my friend so what I did was uh, initial draft to final draft I made sure that I I used to run it through them so that I'll get that third party's perspective I mean whatever input yeah. I had or whatever ideas I was trying to convey through my answers whether it is actually being uh, or making sense or not so I made sure that you know I bug them every now and then just to make sure that you know uh, they are on the same uh same track uh, as i was and um, 
uh, certainly i was getting the valuable uh, feedback and um, more than me they were quite confident that i'll be getting it <laughs> <laughs> okay you were that perfect okay yeah like you yeah, that that's what i have told my viewers as well that you have to keep on rewriting it and rereading it and get the third person perspective because you always think oh i have done a best job and it can't get better but there is always a scope of improvement exactly uh, so as you said you yeah. know i still remember i mean there were a couple of points that i you know uh, put it in my essay okay but when i ran it through my brother he was not able to understand it at all i was quite changing the entire structure of my sentence i had to you know cut it short uh, you know break it down into small sentences uh, change sometimes change the wordings as well so i um, mean it was not easy but uh, quite fruitful at the end yeah Yeah. Uh, can you tell the audience, like you know, because they are the, the people who are watching, the students who are watching it. They also, you know, we all know that the fees are rocket. The fees of uh, colleges are rocket high, and everybody wants to, you know, get some kind of scholarship. And obviously, this government of Ireland scholarship is uh, prestigious, and also it has its huge perks that you don't. Uh, your fees doesn't get waived off only, but you also get a stipend. So can you just we are going to touch that part as well <laughs> that what did you do with your yeah. stipend but can you just tell that uh, tell the audience how to write this scholarship like you know what to include because people have this notion that they, they are not a graders or they are not toppers or they are uh, not in a good company if they are experienced so they will not get scholarship so can you just you know give some uh, light to that what did you write in your letter some key points